Hey, how's going? This is Ed. The PS2 emulation video on my channel is now about 11 months old, so I think it's time to create a better version since there have been a lot of updates. This video will be the ultimate guide to set up PS2 games for both LCD and OLED Steam Deck. The PlayStation 2 is one of the best systems to emulate on the Steam Deck. Most PS2 games can be played with 4 or 5 watts TDP. This means we will have about 5 to 7 hours battery life on the Steam Deck. There is no Windows handheld PC that can compete with this. This is a very comprehensive video, so I have broken it into different sections as shown on the left side. You can jump into any sections that is beneficial for you. However, if you have zero experience with PS2 emulation, I suggest you start from the beginning. This video will take you from zero to master for the PS2 emulation. Without further delay, now let's start the tutorial. Ok, let's get EmuDeck installed on your Steam Deck first. If you have already done this, then you can skip to step 2. Let's put the Steam Deck into desktop mode first. Once you get in desktop mode, then open up the internet browser and search for EmuDeck. You can press down the Steam button and X button all together to call out the on-screen keyboard here. Click on the first search result, then we will head into the EmuDeck official website. From here, click the download button on the top right. Then click on the Steam OS button to download the EmuDeck. And click OK on this pop-up message. The EmuDeck will be downloaded right away. Then we can open this file in the folder. So here is our EmuDeck installation file. Then double click on this file. And click Execute on this window and keep click on continue. Then the EmuDeck installation page will load up. Once you get to this page, we will select custom mode here. This will give us more options to set up the EmuDeck. Then click continue. On this page, we can either select the SD card or Steam Deck's internal storage to store our emulation game ROMs. You can pick either one based on your preference. Here I will use the SD card, I just prefer to have all my emulation games stored on the SD card. Then we can click next. On this page make sure the Steam Deck is selected, then click next. This page shows all the emulators that can be installed through EmuDeck. Because this video is dedicated to the PS2 emulation. Here I will turn off everything except for the PS2 emulator PCSX2. Then we can click continue. Again, on this page, I will only leave the PS2 emulator PC SX2 and the Steam Room Manager on. Make sure you always keep the Steam Room Manager on from this page, otherwise the EmuDeck will have issues to detect game ROMs. Then click Continue. This page is for Emulation Station themes. You can select any one you like here. If you want to use Emulation Station to manage your emulation game, I have made a dedicated video about how to set up Emulation Station on the Steam Deck. Just to be clear, the Emulation Station is optional, you don't have to use it. Then we can click Next. This is the summary page, it shows what will be installed onto your Steam Deck. Then click Finish. The Emulation installation now starts. About 45 seconds later, you will get this page. Just click Add Games here. Then on this page, just click skip for now. Then we are at the main interface of EmuDeck. At this point, we have successfully installed EmuDeck and the PS2 emulator onto your Steam Deck. If we close this window, then you will see the EmuDeck icon on your desktop. From now on, you can click on this icon to open up your EmuDeck. Now let's set up the PS2 BIOS files. Here I am not going to tell you where to get the BIOS files because they are copyrighted, but you should be able to figure it out pretty easily. I have my PS2 BIOS files and game ROMs on this USB flash drive, so I will just plug this into my Steam Deck. Once my USB stick is detected, now I will just go to my USB flash drive. You don't have to do the same way I am doing here. The main goal is to move the BIOS files into the emulation BIOS folder on your Steam Deck. So here I will select all the BIOS files on my USB flash drive and copy them. Then go to my Steam Deck's SD card, emulation folder, then BIOS folder, and paste all the files into the BIOS folder here. If you selected the internal storage for your emulation games when you installed EmuDeck, 
then you need to paste the BIOS files into your internal storage. Please see the BIOS folder location at the bottom of this screen. After you have the BIOS files in the correct folder, then we can go back to Email Deck and then go to the BIOS checker to verify your BIOS files. It should show PlayStation 2 BIOS detected. This means you have successfully set up the PS2 BIOS files. Now it's time to add some PS2 game ROMs into our Steam Deck and play them directly from the Steam Deck's gaming mode. You will be on your own to find the game ROMs that you like to play. It's not hard at all. First, we need to add PS2 game ROMs into the Steam Deck's SD card or internal storage, which depends on which one you selected during the installation of Emil Deck. Here I will copy two game ROMs from my USB drive into the Steam Deck's SD card. The main goal here is to move the game ROMs file into the correct folder. So here I will copy those two ROM files and then go to my Steam Deck's SD card, Emulation folder, ROMs folder, and then look for PS2 folder and click open up the PS2 folder. Then paste all the ROMs inside this folder. Just make sure all your PS2 ROMs are moved into this folder here. I have listed the PS2 ROMs folder location at the bottom of this screen. So make sure all your PS2 ROMs are moved into this folder. Ok, once the ROMs are copied over, then we can close this window and open up the email deck. Then click on the Steam Room Manager and click Yes on this pop-up window. Once you get into this page, I suggest you to click on the Tango Passers button first. This will prevent email deck scan every single email letters on your Steam Deck. I recommend only turn on the email letters that you are going to use on this page. So here we will look for the Sony PlayStation 2 PC SX2 and turn this back on. Next, click the preview button on the left bottom, then click Passers. Now you should see all your PS2 games show up on this page. And we can also change the game artwork by clicking on the left and right arrow on this page. Once you are satisfied with the artwork, you can now click on Save to Steam button. This will add all your games into the gaming mode. Then you can exit the email deck and switch your Steam Deck to the gaming mode. After back to the gaming mode, just press the Steam button. Then go to library. You will see the PS2 games are show up under the no Steam game. Now you can play any PS2 games from the gaming mode. If we go to the collection tab, all PS2 games are in one collection. Now we can pick any game and just press the play button to start enjoy the PS2 games on the Steam Deck. At this point, you should be able to emulate any PS2 games on the Steam Deck. In the last section, I will show some handy hotkeys for the PS2 emulation. Those hotkeys will improve your PS2 emulation experience a lot on the Steam Deck. Also, I will show how to change disk for multiple disk PS2 games. We can change the screen ratio at any time during the gameplay by pressing down the start button and then press the right on the D-pad to swipe between different screen ratio. We can also quickly change the rendering resolution anytime by holding down the start button and then pressing the up on the D-pad. Most of the PS2 games can be played at 3 times resolution. If the game is slow, then you can quickly bring the resolution down with this hotkey. The fast forward feature can be easily turned on by holding down the select button, then pressing down the R2 button. But just remember to have the fast forward feature work, you need to make sure the frame rate limit is disabled from your Steam Deck quick access menu. If you have a multiple disc game, once you reach the end of disc, hold down on the start button, then press the left joystick, it will bring up this menu. We can select change disc, then pick your next disc. Here just make sure all your discs are copied into the PS2 ROMs folder so you can pick it up from here. If your controller is not working, the first thing you can do is launch your PS2 game and then press the Steam button and go to the controller settings. Make sure the current button layout is set to Gamepad with Joystick Trackpad. 
If you still face the controller issue, the next thing you can do is go to desktop mode and open up the email deck. Then go to manager emulator. Click on PC SX2 QT. And then click reset configuration on this page. This should fix your controller. If you keep getting this message, please shut down Steam if it's running. Just go back to the Steam Room Manager Passers page and make sure you turn on the emulator here. The reason that you keep getting the message, please shut down the Steam if it is running, is that you turned on some emulators under the Passers, but you actually didn't have any ROMs for those emulators on your Steam Deck. After we turn on the emulator here, now if you try to click Passers button, everything should work. If there are no emulators under your Emule Deck passers, you will not be able to pick any emulators from this page. If you are using the Steam Room Manager Classic Sim, it will look like this, just nothing under the passers. And here is how to fix this issue. So inside the Emule Deck, click Custom Reset, then click Next until you reach this page. Make sure you highlight the Steam Room Manager on this page. Then just keep clicking continue until the full installation finish. Now if we go to the Steam Room Manager again, all emulators should show up under the passers. This is how everything should look like. If we switch to the classic same, and everything should show up under the passers too. That's all for this PS2 Remastered video. Hope it helped you and please don't forget hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. As always, thanks for being here and enjoy your gaming.